What is your reminder? Like, give me an example of what you mean. Um, like if I'm if I'm focused on what I have to do instead of what I instead of enjoying the moment. Like if I like I woke up this morning and started to do breath work, and then my thoughts are, okay, I need to bring the battery down here. I need to brush my teeth. I need to do this. And then I come in and say, oh, but that's not present. I'm not enjoying the moment. So then I. Keep, keep just keep in mind that there is no there is only spirit ego is a belief so keep in mind that there is only spirit um, avatar is a form the body is a form all things that are came out of spirit ego is just a belief ego creates yeah, this belief out of this belief structure you create because faith is a creative force from the divine and so the divine is continually creating via faith uh, as a result of that this is how we create this this realm and this world as a result of that now we've created ego you identify as this ego instead of playing in it uh, an ego uh, a persona would be a role that you would play but you would understand that it is just a temporary role of the avatar. When it's ident when you identify as that thing, as as either the belief that this is who you are, or belief that the avatar is who you are, then you've forgotten. So in those moments when you're, the, it, it hits you. Oh, I, I am not present. Who is the one that's not present? Well, is it ego? Is it a belief that's not present? So it, it can either way is fine. Um, if you when you realize that a belief that you have is not true, then you're free. The, the truth sets you free. So if you've been believing this thing um, that you could or could not be present, you're already in an existence of duality. You you are neither the one that is present nor non-present. The avatar is either existing in the eternal reality of I am, of essence, or it's existing in a belief structure and living in that linear timeline as reality. When it, when it believes that the linear is its reality, it's always looking for the next. And the realization that you are that which animates now there is no next except for the playing obviously but in reality there is no next so maybe instead of viewing those things as not present as I could just view them as things that I enjoy maybe about it I mean, better than sure just, just keep in mind that the, the mind is wanting to take you away into those things the mind is never present you must learn what it looks like to bring your mind to a place of being present before you can recognize what it really is or realize what it really is to be presence this is your nature you, this is who you are but your mind is continually taking you everywhere else and the only reason why the mind takes us everywhere else is because we have yet to really to, to, to not comprehend but realize to awaken to, to our, us as presence as awareness and so as a result we're always trying to either we're, we're, we're living in a mind that is never present and when you start to realize just a little bit you're like I want to be present when you taste being present the flow of presence the flow of the present lifestyle just a little bit Oh, it's so good. If you talk to an NBA basketball player, they would say, yeah, we're just staying in the present. Or 
you know, an NFL football player or any athlete, we're just staying in the present because they recognize when they stay in the present, they're able to compete at a much higher level. So even they've recognized that the mind is taking them into some other non-present place. But if they can just channel that mind and bring it to a place of at least being still now, just now, and not be focused upon the future or not be projecting from the past into that future, now they, they're able to perform at a higher level. But this is still just the avatar. Uh, it's just the spirit. You asked last that song, spirit, to, to talk about a little bit about the atom. And I believe it was beauty. I believe you asked about soul, spirit. Just picture, if you will, body being created, body coming forth, still from you, still out of essence, but a body coming forth. And now the, the even the Bible says that the breath of life was breathed into it. So the body, the mind is a part of the, the brain is a part of the body. The mind, that mind, that brain is a part of the body. But it, it is not consciousness until spirit is breathed into it. Now it's soul. The, the breath breathes into the body. Now that body is what scripture might call soul. But it is all spirit. Because without this, the animation, it's, it's just lifeless. It's nothing. It is absolutely nothing. So the the problem that you face is that you, you're getting caught up between the three selves. Am I the self, the ever-existent self, uh, the perfect awareness self? Am I the, this body and this form that is playing and perceiving within this world? Or am I the belief that this body and form have taken on that is existing in this world? And when you're, you're, you're bouncing back and forth between these three things, and this, this is fine, just realize in those moments when you go, oh, the mind isn't present, that's okay. The mind has spent a long time and is really good at not being present. <laughs> it's okay. It's not you. You are not the present one. You are the presence or the space that the present one exists in. The present one would be the avatar. The 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 body that is animated that has brought the mind that that is bringing that the mind in that body is in full submission to it. So it can play, create, pretend, but it has not gotten caught up in the belief. Who you believe you are is not who you are. Matter of fact, I would say it's the exact opposite. Who you believe you are is probably the exact opposite of who you are. Who you believe someone else to be is not who they are. These are created stories. That These are the mind that is creating a story. Rise beyond the belief and you begin to discover a little bit of who you are. When you are existing as ego, as a belief, as the story, this is where that non-present present dynamic is taking place. This is where the decisions are taking place. I need to make a decision. There is no flow to the existence at all. It's stop and go. Stop and go. This is when the um, subversive thoughts are just bouncing back and forth and everything seems to be in a hurried pace. This is when offense and frustrations and aggravations and irritation, this is where all that exists because you are living as this mind that has believed, as this form that has believed it is something else. When the belief, when you, when, when you have let go of the belief and you've risen into, into uh, even just a small taste of essence, now you never want to go back to that belief structure because you know that only, the only thing that is found there is misery. So those moments when the mind is taking you away into something else, it's okay. The mind is good at that. And when you, it is you, ah, no, no, no. You're going to be present. You're going to be, you're going to be present. You are the presence that brings that avatar back to present. You are the space in which this, you're not just filling and animating this body, but you are the space in which it exists.
consciousness or soul as a beautiful thing. It, and because it, it has been spawned or risen from a, as a divine expression, it's very creative. And you can create all kinds of things. You'll create your misery and you'll create your pleasure in that place. You create the present and the non present, the inside and the outside. Lots of stories get created. Thanks for watching our video. Give us a thumbs up, comment, thoughts, questions in the section below. Let us know what you want to hear from us. Subscribe to our channel for more life changing content. And as always, check the section below for our website, for live events, where we'll be, what we're up to, more about us, and our online school website is listed below as well. We love you. We're glad you're here. We want to hear from you. We're in this with you.